Four students from Mrs. Pacheco's AP Stats class were able to present the problem of whether or not the colors in the peanut M&Ms were evenly distributed. This helped to introduce their null hypothesis that the colors in 21 packs of peanut M&Ms are evenly distributed. I believe the colors in peanut M&Ms are not evenly distributed. I believe that the colors of M&Ms are not evenly distributed. I believe that the colors of the peanut M&Ms are not evenly distributed. I believe that the colors of the peanut M&Ms are evenly distributed. In order to ensure randomness, each student brought their packs of peanut M&Ms from different venues. And before beginning the experiment, they took into consideration the assumptions required for a chi-squared test. The assumptions of the chi-squared test that we met were that the color of peanut M&Ms were independent of each other, that it was a normal distribution because N, which is the number of peanut M&Ms, was greater than 30, and it was a simple random sample. In conducting their experiment, the students separated each of the colors of the M&Ms into labeled styrofoam cups and recorded the number of M&Ms in each cup. calculated the average number of colors in each packet to get their observed value. To calculate the expected values, they totaled the number of M&Ms in 21 bags and divided the number by 6, the number of colors and M&Ms. Following their calculations, they inputted the values into the calculator. The observed values were inputted in this form expected values were put into list 2, and in list 3, they calculated list 1 minus list 2 squared divided by list 2. They then summed up the values they found in list 3 to complete their chi-squared test. The number they found was used as their minimum value in computing the chi-squared test. Like with any project, the students faced a couple of problems. Initially, we wanted to test the color distribution within a single pack of peanut M&Ms, but then we had mixed up all the packs, so we decided to test the color distribution of 21 packs of peanut M&Ms. The problems did not lie with only the peanut M&Ms, though. Our assumptions for the chi-square test that we did was that the color distribution of the peanut M&Ms were evenly distributed and <laughs> sorry, no <laughs> um, the <laughs> I forgot my life the oh, why did I forget that? Okay. the assumptions that we met for the chi-square oh. <laughs> believe that what am I trying to, what am I trying to say? Peanut M&M's the... Oh, I just heard Wait, wait. I think that some colors appear more than often. I mean, I disagree with that. I think they are not evenly distributed. What a liar! Oh. What a liar! You... No, I think they are not... The students rejected their null at the 5% significance level because their p-value was less than alpha. Why did I lose? 
The news did not fall well with one of the students, which caused him to question everything he ever thought to be true. While the other three students party like there was no tomorrow, happy with their success. In your face, Eric.